Sound of Freedom came out, the fight was one of the concerns, uh, being that the, the, the actual producer of the movie wanted to get this done somewhere around September. As a matter of fact, September 15, uh, 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 16 or 15? 16, 16, is, that, 16 is, the, is the 15. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I so, so I think it's also part of the whole Central America. There's, there's one of them that celebrates the 16. But, mm -hmm. uh, uh, but anyway, mm -hmm. they, that's their Independence Day. So yeah. they were thinking Sound of Freedom, Independence yeah. Day for Mexico. That's, that's the, uh, a lot of the things that, that they were chasing and taking place happened throughout Central America, throughout uh, um, the Caribbean, and throughout uh, some of the main places that yeah. the movie is. So they felt in their head, uh, Angel Studio says, whoa, whoa, whoa. 4th of July, right? Let's not just go thinking about that. So obviously the concern was, are we going to be able to get to enough movie theaters? They got all the way up to 2,800 by the time they got to opening night, and I think they were able to successfully get a few more. But two things will actually happen after that, though. One of them, the movie turned out to be very successful, commercially speaking. Mm -hmm. right? Let's put aside the message that, that, that a lot of people right now I don't want to say a lot of people. There are some people that are really divided in terms of as to whether or not this was a good message or is a conspiracy theory. <coughs> from from my side, personally, uh, it's the only reason why I even enter the conversation about what's going on in, in the border, right? Commercially, b came in with the money. Mm -hmm. but, the, but, but make no mistake about it. Yeah, this will be considered, if, if you look into how much money it took to make, to how much money it's already. Yeah. Right? That this, by, by the way, it's not showing anywhere on, except race. for, you know what I mean, for the state mm -hmm. of, uh, I mean, it's not, nothing, nothing is happening outside of the country right now. Mm -hmm. This is just based on what happened in the United States. And now it's finally showing in, in different countries. So it's going to start opening up. This is a movie that can very easily get to $250, $300 million, mm -hmm. right? That cost fourteen point five million dollars to make. That's that's an incredible success yeah, commercially, absolutely, absolutely. right? That's, a, that's how do you stop the movement? Well, you make it irrelevant. Mm -hmm. You squeeze it out. You you replace it with other things. And and Indiana Jones was not able to get it off track. As a matter of fact, it performed better on mm -hmm. opening night. Um, Mission Impossible. I mean, uh, listen, <laughs> this guy Tom Cruise always Tom Cruise always, jumping always, off of a cliff. Seven times. The guy, I don't care. He's <laughs> gonna be a hundred and two, and he's still gonna have this <laughs> blockbuster movies. You know guy, what I yeah. mean? It's yeah, like yeah, the guy yeah. is a <laughs> an incredible commercial success uh, when it comes to this environment. So tough to compete there. Yeah. But now, now, but, but I, I want you to keep something in mind though. Every time so these movies are coming in, you fighting for space. Yeah. Now it's all about retail, right? right. Who's gonna have access to? Right. Uh, to 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 m most of the movie theaters. Then Barbie just mm -hmm. came out. Yeah. Right. I'm gonna tell you. I mean, is I don't know how you feel about this whole idea of this movie now being squeezed out of mm -hmm. some of the movie theaters to allow. I mean, just think about the message of Sound of Freedom and put it next to what's coming out of Barbie. Right. Mm -hmm. And funny enough, you, you, I actually do believe that Barbie has been connected now to the American fabric of, mm -hmm. of you know, it's, it's just a way of thinking that the ch like, uh, children used to play with these things, you know what I mean, a lot. And so, um, but the message is extremely different, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, how do you, what, what's your take on that, though? Yeah. You know? um, like I said, um, to me, it's, I always get cautious when i see somebody going very hard on trying to do something that doesn't make sense like it's not like naturally people are not wanting to see the movie so then now i'm thinking well why wouldn't you want people to see the movie do you get what i'm saying so then now i'm just questioning what's your motive what is it that you're trying to prevent people from like e even if it was a conspiracy theory it's not been proven they blew it out of proportion they figured out a way to like support a, a, a group that I didn't even know existed, whatever. Even if that was happening, why would you be going out of your way to like not want people to know? And then that, if anything, for somebody like me, I, I pay attention to it more. Do you get what I'm saying? So, cause I'm like, anytime you're trying to stop something, it's probably because there's something that's being said, you don't want people to hear, I wanna know what that is. So I feel like if anything, it's gonna create a backfire. 
because of the fact that they're trying to stop it, it's going to make people like myself want to know why. So now I want to go see the movie, even if I didn't see it. Why, and why you're recruiting want to see it? because you're bringing people like, Correct. constantly Correct. to... Correct. So, so to me, I feel like certain messages you can't stop. But if an entity tries to stop it from being heard... It's like you tell your, your kids, don't touch this. Now I want to touch it. Now I want to, don't go in this closet. What's in that closet? You get what I'm saying? So I feel a closet like, is never a good place, know, right? just so you know. So, so for me, I don't think it's going to help what they're doing. If anything, it's just creating um, negative um, publicity, which is still good for them. And their, their purpose as far as spreading the message. So that's how I feel. Yeah, about I mean, for me, to be honest with you, I, I don't know that like Barbie was launched to counter yeah. you know like mm -hmm. it, movies dates specifically are set like way in advance so mm -hmm. i don't think it was something that like all of a the sudden they decided to rush and put at this time yeah. uh what bothers me is the media aspect of it and how much attention uh, you know it's getting and, and this what is the issue that i have is the whole people are not talking enough about certain things but they're yeah. willing to highlight this particular mm -hmm. thing just to create a distraction so uh, i'm not okay with that everybody's doing their part i mean everybody's buying tickets uh, to make sure that it's a like uam and sponsoring people to go I, I encourage everybody to continue to that as much as possible uh, 10 million uh, people have seen it that was the last little clip that i saw uh, and it was crazy what i love about the fact that what's happening with this movie is that the vision was Two for two, right? It was two million for two million children being adopted worldwide um, they, every they, uh, they, they on an annual those basis. Numbers already, oh, yeah, yeah and it's mm -hmm. like way over. You know, I, I, right at this very time, uh, the last time I saw it's five times more. So, like, you know, it did. It is becoming a movement. We just gotta continue to talk about it and. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, be opposite to the media. That's the whole purpose of being here. You know, yeah, have a right. conversation where it's like, you yeah, know, we'll present to you both sides. Go think about it, be curious, and go research your own thing. I'm going to be honest with you. That's the reason why I decided to open with this conversation. I mean, uh, three reasons. One of them is not even so much about being opposite to, to them. It's about truly uh, finding a, a, a balance on a conversation right. that is becoming right. more and more yeah. irrational. You know what I mean? And so... I, I hope that eventually people will be, um, you know, just, just will take it, will, will value more the, the, the fact that somebody's saying, listen, you make up your own mind, but by the way, this is the other side of the argument, opposed to just, uh, you know, media outlets that are making it seem like, uh, you know, conspiracy theory, all these yeah. right-wing people. Yeah. That are, and, I, and again, the question is, like you're asking, you know, who are they trying to protect? Now, the second point is... All these companies are king queen makers, you know what I mean? Like they, they have mm -hmm. the power to say, hey, we're going to need more movie theaters, you know what I mean? Who's yeah. not performing? Get rid of those guys. And they can put a lot of pressure oh, yeah, on, 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 on making this happen. So if you already have a, a group of people, and, and it's not just that they can potentially be angry about the message of the movie for some of those people mm -hmm. that may even participate in those environments that happen to be connected to uh, companies like that, you know mm -hmm. what I mean, they have the power to do distribution, but it's a little bit of an insult, you know what I mean, there's something that commercially only cost the investment is $14,000, is outperforming, yeah. you know what I mean, a lot of, so you kind of take that personally, so you want to squeeze it out, so that the numbers don't look better, listen, the fact that they have to say, uh, um, one of the studios or one of the the, the the outlet, the media outlets, actually said, "Well, you know, there was there was a lot of pre-sales involved, and they shouldn't count that as part of the day one." Well, what do you? Why? Why, why what? not? That's the whole That's point. Almost, People line up for movie theaters. It's been like a thing. You, you know, know, so funny you say that. Um, so this is a little bit off topic, but I think it has to do with the same thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I was actually listening to um, a podcast where. Nicki Minaj was on there. You guys know who Nicki Minaj mm -hmm, is, right? Mm -hmm. And she was saying how Billboard, they actually changed the way how they rank who is the top, like, 100 for the Billboard charts. And the reason why they did it is because before, you didn't have to have radio play for you to be recognized as being on the top 100. Now they changed the rules to where you must be played on the radio to be recognized as the top 100. And the reason why they did it is because some group, I never even heard of this group before, but they ended up on the top 100, but because they weren't like a part of the same major labels and they still made it to be that high. What was the name? 
um, it was called like BTS. BTS, or BTS yeah, or the, Korean, the Korean. Heard, I don't know yeah, who they are. I never yeah, heard of them. Yeah. I never heard of them. I don't yeah. even know. Pretty who they good, are. actually. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I don't, I've, I've never heard. Of them. <laughs> I didn't know you were into K-pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 Co- Koreans singing. By the way, you gotta see them singing. Uh, no, singing, I don't gotta go see anything. Despacito. I don't know who it was, but in Spanish. Anyway, so you gotta see them. So listen, this is important though because they were saying how. Because they made it there, but they weren't getting the same radio play. So, you know, Marvin was watching Barbie. Yeah, no, he was, he was. <laughs> <laughs> On a pink dress. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, to but this is important. So what they wanted to do is they don't want it to be where anybody who's not a part of their group gets recognized yeah. as being a, so yes. I, so yeah. another thing forget even the message of the movie mm-hmm. it could even be they're just like you're not a part of the studios right. <laughs> that make money with us Correct. so we so. don't want to now have it to where you can win awards you Box can get you special out. recognition you're mm-hmm. gonna make less money you know just because we're not mm-hmm. making money with you forget your message we just don't like the fact that we can't make some money with you you get yeah. what i'm saying and no no I, I, I agree with they you they could have but they they, they messed could up. Have. They messed up. They and, messed up. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> and, and and again, th- that leaves the door open for the argument of many other things. But the last point of connected to that goes that you know, there's two real movements that absolutely came out of this situation, or something that you haven't seen before. People coming out of a movie theater immediately getting in front of a camera. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Putting a message, Instagram, Facebook, uh, anyway, just literally talking about the experience they went through, and y- you know, you see those things also quickly disappearing you know what i mean the the cat the the cat jumping you know the <laughs> grandma's yeah. so taking grandma's yeah. hairs is still showing a lot but you see something like th- like a lot of people are saying that oh, this message is being taken down you yeah. know what i mean uh and the pay it forward movement that came out yeah. of it it's something that you've never seen before yeah, in a, I don't remember yeah. ever in Buying a movie theater and bar. Hey, you know, I, I got another 20 tickets for The Godfather so you yeah. can go watch it. I, <laughs> I don't, I doubt never happened. Fact, the last time so I was, unique. did something even similar mm-hmm. to that, I think it was like Titanic. Where like I seen it three times in theaters. That was the only no, other but you movie. went to see you it. Were, I didn't pay for somebody. I didn't pay for somebody, but I still went to see it. You were crying. <laughs> no, I didn't, cry. I, didn't cry. Like, I didn't cry. Don't let go. Don't let go, Jack. <laughs> don't let go. But that was the closest thing that was even remotely. You were paid for it to go? yourself. No. Tell me about Did you hear that? It was that was a great movie, by the way. Why you guys saying about Titanic? <laughs> no, 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 no. That was a good movie. Pay it for it. Titanic opened the door for like four hour movies. Exactly. Let me explain it. Let me explain. How it works. <laughs> you pay it forward so that another person has to, you can't pay it forward <laughs> for yourself. You know what I mean? So, no, but can I tell you that that is Angel Studios' yeah. business model? Okay. Like a lot of their content online is, I, I've been like, I, I'm all for the Total Twins. Yeah. Like, I love that show. Well, I, I never heard of them until this. So yeah, like, but it's yeah. like, so literally, I went into the website, and usually those are all like subscription based, yeah. whatever it is. It's not. It's just, hey, this content is free because somebody else paid for it. So you. if you have the opportunity to do it, pay it forward. That's their business model. Yeah. I love it. I freaking love it. Yeah. Anyway, the, the purpose of this is we're going to keep it alive. We're going to keep it going. We're going to keep it part of a conversation. We want to see how it's going to uh, perform internationally, especially in some of these countries where, remember, remember, a lot of these countries where this movie is going to be playing out is literally places where it's, where it's happening. absolutely happening. Yeah. Where you absolutely have some of the absolute, you know, criminal cartels and 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 some of the people that absolutely yeah, manage that as a business. So, how are they going to react? Are they going to let that peacefully play out and just let it be what it is, uh, and respectfully, you know, take a step back? Are they going to become? Listen, this can get it gets a little dangerous once we go into those territories. Yeah, you know what I mean? So, I so I'm really keeping an eye on that to see how that develops. But anyway, guys, listen, I appreciate your mm-hmm. uh, also helping. Uh, keeping it alive. I think it's super important.